name is Paul, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make tuna helper fettuccine alfredo. Let's get started. Let's get started. What items am I going to need? First, we need tuna helper. Next, we need a minimum 9-inch frying pan or skillet. Two cans of tuna fish. Two cups of milk. One. Two cups of milk. One, two. Three tablespoons of butter. Hot water. One. And one half cups hot water. and a dish to put it in. I decided to use this size dish because it's big enough if I want to make two packages of the mix, which would be double everything I've shown here. I can use this one. When cooking, you'll need a spoon to stir the mix, and you'll need a pot holder to lift the handle on the skillet. Even if this is an insulated skillet or just has a plastic handle, often the handle will still get hot from being heated. So. It's probably a good idea to have a pot holder anyway, even if it is a plastic handle, because it could still scald you. Into our skillet, we need to put two cans of tuna fish. That's two cans of drained tuna fish. Two cans of tuna, drained. One, two cans drained tuna. Let's put the milk and the butter in with the tuna. Let's add the hot water. Add the contents of the dry mix. Put the two packages of dry mix into the skillet. Next, stir all the ingredients together. Basically, you want everything to get wet. Now, the only thing left is to heat it up. Okay, now we need medium heat. Basically, the, heat, the pan just needs to sit on the stove and cook for approximately 10 to 15 minutes. Every so often, as it is sitting, you want to stir a little so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Now, this is nowhere near 
even partially cooked, but you do want to keep it from sticking to the pan, and that means to stir it a little bit. Basically, you just want to make sure it doesn't stick while the while the uh, product is all cooking. This will go from being hard, hard noodles to being soft. The milk, the butter, and the cheese sauce will mix together and they will become the sauce on it. It will all start to coagulate. The sauce will get much thicker as it cooks. You can see here that the sauce is nicely starting to boil or bubble and so it again needs to be stirred some more so that it does not scorch, does not stick to the bottom of the pan and so that it cooks evenly. It may be a good idea to turn the heat down a little bit. I'm going to turn it down to medium low from medium. And when you're stirring this, while it's not cooked yet, you want to make sure that you stir it gently because depending on the size of your pan, if you stir it too fast, it'll overflow and it'll spill over the sides. And that's a, you know, it's a mess to clean up and it's a waste. And there's no sense wasting this when you can just stir it a little slower and make sure that everything stirs properly. What I'm basically doing is making sure that the noodles don't stick to the bottom of the pan. And that's essentially it, is that every so often you just it a little bit to keep it from sticking. Let's admit it, if you cook in a, if you cook in a small enough pan, you're probably going to miss and spill some. It happens, if it does, don't worry about it. Main thing is we're trying to make sure this doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan and trying not to spill it by uh, stirring it too fast or stirring it too vigorously, but we do want to get the contents all mixed around, the cheese sauce, the noodles, the tuna, the butter, the water, the milk. We want it all to mix evenly so it will turn out nicely. Again, mainly you want to stir the material so it doesn't get too sticky to the pan so that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan too much or not at all if you can help it but uh, sometimes it will sometimes it's unavoidable the main thing here is there are two things the noodles have to soften and then the sauce has to get ready actually the sauce gets to a certain thickness and it'll look similar it won't get much thicker than this on the stove it actually thickens when it cools I've just taken a taste of one of the noodles. This is ready. I mean, it's ready to take it off, so let's kill the heat. I'm going to stir it a little bit, try to catch what we can. Now, this is ready in the sense that it's finished cooking. It is The sauce is a little bit thin, so basically we take it off the heat. We'll probably put it in a glass bowl and let it cool down. This is what we ended up with, a um, product. And as you can see, it is much thicker than the original material was. As you can see, the sauce has become firmer from standing for a bit. It stood for about five, 10 minutes, just long enough for it to cool down a little. Because I don't have to eat it fresh out of the, fresh out of the pan. But it's still hot and it's still good and it's much thicker than it was. Hi, again my name is Paul. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this cooking video. Email paul at paul-robinson.us